Command Z and go back. I want to look at my aim and I'm going to change this now to the Z, I mean X plus. This null, ah, that's one reason. Um, I forgot to zero out my null, so I'm going to take this null, reset the PSR, and then I actually want to scoot it over to the side a little bit. And so let's grab this, and I'm going to drop my null into the target. And it still didn't flop it around. Let's try X minus. Okay, so. Um, that's going to work better for us and that is where we want it. Now, on my basic tab, I don't want to choose my up vector yet. Uh, what I want to do is get this wrapped in the cloner object and get my base in place because my base is actually what I'm going to use for my up vector target. So let's move along and get that. Um, and with this constraint tag, let's you know what that didn't work easily. So let's let's do it again, um, just so it it's uh, good practice. Believe me, play with these constraints until you understand them. If you already understand them, then fast forward. Okay. Um, so let me go ahead and make my null. I need my null, and I'm going to drop it into this joint so that it's a child and I need to zero it out and then I'm going to slide it over to the side. Now I am choosing to slide it to this side because I'd rather use my X plus just because I'm used to doing that. I'm going to grab my sphere, go to tags, uh, character tags, constraint. I'm going to add an aim vector I'm going to click on my aim vector and I want this to be X plus and I'm going to drop my null into the target. Okay, so that worked flawlessly. Um, I want to say that some of my problems were I didn't PSR it out so I got all, everything all messed up. I'm going to rename this uh, constraint aim and I think we are good so let's look and see what that did so if I grab my goal here um, it didn't it didn't do much uh, but you'll see that when I get the up vector in place it's going to make it uh, point better and so what I want to happen is when I'm going this way I want this to remain flat and I haven't got it to work perfectly but I can get it to work a lot better than what it is now okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this which is my entire arm and I'm just gonna close it up for a moment and close this one up and I'm gonna drop that into a cloner MoGraph cloner and drop that in there and you can see that it clones it I have three of them I'm also going to name this uh, arm. Uh, let's see. So I want to go into my cloner. I want to change the mode from linear to radial. I already have five. And if I look at the end, you can see that I have a lot of intersections here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank up the radius so that um, now what I want to happen is when this is closed, this is pretty much the position I want. Now I could, um, I could really play with this. In fact, let's do this, and then I'm going to grab my goal. You could, you could really do whatever you want because I can always bring them in like this. Um, and and I could do it that way uh, either way so let's see let's go back to our cloner but I'm going to 
totally make some cool designs. Wow. Okay, enough of that. Um, earlier 68 was roughly what I wanted, so I'm going to go to about 70. I'm going to grab my goal and I'm going to move it up so that I'm pretty much where I want to be. I don't want these intersecting but I want them fairly close so that they can pick up something that's fairly small. Don't think they'll be plucking hairs off your face but uh, they could pick up a cube or a something. Almost reminds me of some kind of uh, we, we should put a, a cylinder in here and it can be like a rocket yeah, look at that. Get some flames shooting out the back here. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Moving right along. Moving right along. Base. Let's make our base. I'm going to create a cylinder. I'm going to drop the axis to the Z axis here. And Z plus is fine. I'm going to drop the rotational segments. I have five different claw pieces, so I'm going to choose five rotational segments. And I will make it a lot shorter, but I need to crank my radius up. Now, uh, how big you have this is totally up to you. I'm going to go a little bit bigger than my uh, my 68 or 70 some odd that I used for my rotational. Okay, so 107 uh, is going to be fine for mine. I'm going to move it on the Z axis so that the spheres are about halfway buried into it. And then I just want to grab my goal and just kind of play with this, make sure it ends up looking okay. Um, I think I might go a little bigger than 107 here. Nice, even 110 would work, I think. Okay, now let's. Uh, I'm going to reset my PSR on my grab here, my goal. And I am going to drop my cloner to be a child of the cylinder, and I'm going to call this base. Not side base cylinder, but base. And I'm going to call my cloner arms. Just kind of keep things neat here. And other than adding my up vector, we're pretty much done with the claw. So I'm going to go to the basic tab of my constraint tag now and I'm going to add an up vector and I need to choose the X plus axis and hopefully when I drop my base as a target those will turn around and they're not, so I'm going to check my aim really quick. And yes, I have X plus here. Um, so my ep. Uh, oh, okay. Um, this I want to be Z. Um, <clears throat> but I want it to be Z minus. The reason is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is my Z axis here. So now when I grab here you can see that they're keeping their horizontal plane well that one's keeping a horizontal plane but they keep their their shape better. Now when I come out like this what's happening is the goal is my base and it's not working as good as I would like. Now, I have a couple different ideas about fixing that. One of them is using, uh, let's see, MoGraph effector. I have seen the inheritance effector used to copy the properties of one object and uh, 